Hey everybody, how is it going? This is Stargate. This is season one. This is episode number 17. This episode is called Enigma. It's actually quite insane how quickly I've managed to get myself towards the end of season one, actually. I didn't expect to have watched as many of these as I have done in the short period of time that I have been watching them. But I think because I've enjoyed it so much, I've just completely whizzed through this. Same thing happened with Farscape, though. I watched the first season very, very quickly. Last episode, I think I enjoyed the most because we got a little bit more background into Teal'c and we all knew Teal'c had this past with Apophis. He would have done horrible things because of his servitude to Apophis. Yet to see it in the way that we did where he had to face trial was an interesting thing and I think it worked really well. There were moments where it reminded me of the trial situation in Early Who so that made me smile quite a lot but I don't know I just like it when we get more background into these guys because you know we know Teal isn't this perfect person and he's really started to try and make amends for obviously some of the things that he's done and it's nice to see what some of those things are rather than just he hearing about it. Interested to see what this one's going to be about with it being called Enigma. Quite a good title for an episode. It could be anything and I think that is the genius of that name in an episode, that word. So I'm just going to get on into this. Let's go. None of this was going on when we sent the probe through. What's this stuff in the air? Ash. Yes. All right, Daniel, dial it up. No argument. Can't stay here. Be like Pompey. Wait a minute. Is it a person? There's something out there. Daniel, please don't go wandering off. There's a woman, she's alive. It's just like Pompey, everyone died of suffocation before the lava started to flow. Is it? What are these things? O'Neill, there are two more alive. Who are these people? Carter. How long before we're toast? Well, I don't know, sir. I'm not a volcanologist. It could be days. It could be minutes. He's awake. <laughs> don't help us. Oh, is there something wrong with them? Other than obviously being suffocated. Frazier says they're all human. It looks like they're going to live. This was one hell of a rescue operation. It wasn't meant to be one, though, was it? There were no buildings in the area of any kind? Destroyed yes. ones. We don't know how far they walked, but it looked like they were trying to make it back to the Stargate. What do we know about these devices they were working on? Well, they all emit low levels of radiation, indicating an operative energy source, but there is no circuitry, moving parts, or chips. Why? We've never seen anything like it. General Hammond, the spokesman for the rescued people is awake. He'd like to speak with you. There's a spokesman? Who are you? I'm Major General Hammond. This is Colonel O'Neill. Jack. <laughs> Samantha Carter. Uh, Daniel Jackson. Where is this place? You're on a planet called Earth. Yes. These people saved you. Nothing could be further from the truth. This guy's an X-Files. <laughs> well, unless I miss something, you're better off here than you were there. There was a rescue transport on the way. Well, half your people were already dead. I don't think it would have gotten there in time. Who is this guy? Sir, I'd like to know who you are. What do you know about the ghoul? I am a mock. Our world is called Tolan. And what do you know of the ghoul and Jafar? A lot. We're aware of them. We don't interact with them. Well, then we share a common enemy. Did I mention an enemy? He just said they I didn't interact. It might benefit everyone if your people and ours could be friends. I demand you return everything that you've taken from us and allow us to go home. Miniature UAV with all the bells and whistles. Oh! I'm just adding heat sensors so I can send it through the gate to Tolan. I was just down in the infirmary with one of the Tolan trying to get them to talk to us. They won't. They only ask questions, never answer them. As a matter of fact, one of them was asking a lot of questions about you. I thought they weren't interested in us. Oh, I didn't say us. I said you. You know, Hammond thinks maybe you'll have better luck getting some answers. Maybe. You remember Nerim? Yes, from the planet. You were a lot dirtier then. Uh, Captain Carter. Or is it Doctor? Why don't we just make it Samantha? You may call me Nareem. Captain Carter, Mr. Nareem seems very interested in our planet. He's interested I in some. you'd like to escort him up to the surface to have a look. Omak is not as harsh as he seems. He is only trying to protect us. But it's best if he didn't know. From what? Perhaps. Perhaps. 
Perhaps we should go back. Protecting them from the Enigma? Whatever the Enigma is. Launch. UAV is holding course and the wormhole should reach the Tolan gate in three, two, one. And then it'll blow up. Air seems to be in pockets ranging from 1500 degrees down to 200. Sounds like LA. So he doesn't get you the atmosphere <laughs> will. It's mostly pyroclastics, basalt, <gasps> ash. That's the clouds you've got to. This could suffocate very quickly. Avoid. Oh, before it cools down. I don't know, not anytime soon. Doesn't look like it'll matter anyway. That lava's flowing straight toward the gate. Oh! Computer predicts that at the current rate, the gate will be buried in a couple of days. Are you absolutely certain? Yes. I'm sorry. Then nature succeeded where we failed. You were going to seal the gate. Tolan is a world in cataclysm. Evacuation was complete. My team stayed to... Uh... Close the gate. Bury the gate. Our final task was to close the gate. So that no one could return and be harmed. Well, wherever you were going, we can recalibrate the coordinates from here. The new settlement world is outside the gate system. We'll need a ship. Well, the bottom line here is your survivors have become refugees. If they don't want to be here, we've got to relocate them somewhere. To the nearest you know, planet. General, we have done some fairly to where they need to be. Out there. Maybe we should try calling in some markers. Okay. Colonel, you and Teal follow up on that. Maybe go pay a visit to some of our old friends. You, you might like to see this first. Oh! <laughs> I never thought I'd see a living animal. His name's Schrodinger. Who does he belong to? Umak. He ain't gonna be happy about the cat. Uh, Sam, get the cat. Come back and help you with this later. Sam, take the cat! Oh, good lord. Do not hurt that cat. I did not tell her anything. We have a problem. Your refugees seem to have escaped. Escaped? How'd they get past the guards? You can ask them that when you find them. We were merely observing the stars. Well, you're all gonna have to come back in now. My lord, um... The land of light is a world of eternal brightness. I don't think he cares. We would be honored to share our land with your people. You have no idea who or what we are. It's the what that's worrying. We know that you are in need. That is enough. You're missing the point. His planet is unacceptable to us. What were you really doing outside last night? Omak spoke the truth. By studying the position of your stars, we were able to calibrate the distance between oh. Earth and the new homeworld. It is very far away, Samantha. Too far to hope for a ship in our lifetime. You only want our technology, nothing more. As a matter of fact, I wouldn't mind knowing how you got the hell out of this place. Mm -hmm. Technically speaking, of course. We don't need to know how, only that we did. And scrambled and the CCTV. We've managed to augment the surveillance video from the multi-purpose room and some of the corridors. Oh. Computer enhancement. You're not going to believe this. Whoa. Cool. Just what exactly do you hope to get from these people? Not for one, superior weapons. They won't cooperate, you know. I assure you, Colonel. They will. Sir, we wanted to talk to you about what we could do to keep Mayborn from taking the Tolan. General, we must ensure the Tolans escape. I can't let you do that. We'd all be court-martialed. General, I'm about a hair away from not caring. That's mad. Just get in, Daniel. <laughs> If they have this technology, 
you? Why didn't they just use it to get off of Listen, the no planet? But won't that take thousands of years to reach the Knox world? Come. General Hammond, sir, the refugees, they've disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> disappeared. Attention all personnel. Off-world activation, unknown source. Hello. <laughs> They're just gonna. Oh shit. Your race has learned nothing. But you have. The Tolans are most welcome to join the Nox. Please come. I'm worried about the cat though, because they've got creatures on the Nox's home world in the sky. Noreen was right about you. Perhaps in time we'll meet again. Come. That was awesome. Fire. <laughs> God, I love those people. <laughs> I thoroughly enjoyed watching this. This was cool. I love that we got to go to this world that was very volcanic and we had to rescue these people. But my favourite thing about the whole thing was the cat. I'm not even going to like go any like further on. No, I'm joking. Um, that cat was absolutely amazing. And the fact that he took the cat with him. Oh, I'm worried though, because as I said earlier, like that planet with the Nox had those creatures in the sky that the Gwawurud wanted and basically, you know, would terrorise people. So I'm like, what if they let the cat out and it gets the cat? They'll have to have an invisible cat continuously. But to see that the Nox came and helped, that was brilliant that we got to see people we've met before come through and offer them asylum. The guy who was in charge, you could understand why why he was nervous to give technology to anybody. The stuff that they could do was amazing. And I loved that side of it. The guy who really liked Sam was really sweet. I really liked that character. And the fact that, you know, Sam got to see what his emotions were. That was really cool with that device. But geez, if we get to see these people again, I'm going to be so happy. Because I just thought this episode was a really nice episode. We've had quite a lot of them recently where I've thoroughly enjoyed it. We are still very kind of standalone at the moment but this is one of the first ones I think we've had that have kind of had reoccurring characters come into it and that's what made this one a good watch for me was getting those characters back like the land of the light that was just I liked that a lot this was just I don't know something about this one that I found really charming and really 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 enjoyed watching it so I'm actually really looking forward to the remaining episodes of this season because I don't think there's that many left and I've, I don't know I've just enjoyed this so much like I can't wait to just continue on with it so I might go watch the next one and I will see you guys later so thank you